This week we are taking a look at one of the traditions that has been long standing within the church and that is communion. And as we are looking at communion we are taking a look at this picture. In the center of course we have Christ and if you'll notice right in front of Jesus is a loaf of bread. Now this loaf of bread that we see is how we make bread. It's bread that obviously had yeast in it so the bread was able to rise. However, the bread that they did use it was flatter bread and anything that was left over was swept out the door. Each of these gentlemen that are sitting next to them, they are there to share in this together. And if you notice on the table, there's also something that you may not always see in the painting. In most of the pictures that you would see, there would be one main chalice that would be here. In fact, there would be no other cups for the rest of the disciples that are sitting on either side of Jesus. And that one main chalice would be used so they could all drink from the same cup, which is part of the sacrifice within communion. If you'll notice also on this, it says given and shed for you for the remission of sins. Is that what communion means? Do we think about the remission of sins? Do we think about Jesus shedding his blood and shedding his body for you? Or is that something, once again, that we just kind of gloss over? Is it something that we don't really think about? Maybe it's because the death of Jesus bothers us. We have to understand something. When they had this Last Supper, Jesus knew that he was walking to the cross. But what he also knew is that he was going to conquer death for you and for me. And he wanted to share this together with those that he loved the most before heading to make that sacrifice. Think about that and we'll talk more tomorrow.